back again at the command center JW Solar USA. In today's video, I want to show you how to install parallel boards on your PIP 5048MG inverter chargers. So let me bring you in and see the cover is already taken out. And the other one here is not yet. But I just want to show you the process here. So let's start the video. Silver bus bars right here. These are the terminals. So these are, see that? The negative right here and the positive right there. You see the positive sign right there. So this is how it's set up. You can use a uh, number two or number four wire on this one, but follow the manual specification specification on the manual so you can able to go about it so by doing so you can able to take unscrew these two screws right here and remove the board take off the uh the connectors all right we're back again right here at the jw solar usa i have my uh peep 5048MG batteryless inverter charger. So you can able to run these inverters without batteries, but you have to run them on high voltages so that you can able to uh, maximize the full potential of these uh, inverters. All right, so now this is what we are up to. The two hybrid inverters already um, open from the bottom here to uh, get into the communication port and see how everything is lined up. We can install the new uh, boards in and remove the, the, um, the, uh, remove the original ones that came with it. That's if you want to just run them without a parallel so that you can able to monitor them. So down here, you can see all the ports. There is uh, Ethernet which is RS-232 port right here. It is a USB. And here is a, here is the PV input right here. So this one, you can able to use a automatic generator start on that side. So let's get to the business right now. And this thing you've been waiting for, and let's check it out. Subscribe, share, and give a like to the video. Back at the JW Solar USA, here are the two parallel boards. See them, they're all in a styrofoam. They're all protected, secured. And you can see the way they're set up right there. And this is how the boards looks like. Now you can see it has uh, uh, the RS-232, um, the parallel connectors, the communication, and just the RS-232 here. And you can see these are all the sense Ports where you can connect the parallel, the powers, the positive and negative, the red wires. So we can insert these boards and get, you remember, I was telling you guys for this part right here, which is um, it's just like uh, right here. So stay tuned for this. I'm going to be giving you, showing you all the wires that uh, comprises to this one old install which uh, you have to be careful with these boards. Make sure you don't have any static with you. You can destroy them. So they have them in a static bag. And these are the wires here. See, that's what I'm talking about. You can able to connect the, from here, you see the ports right here. That's where they go, okay? So um, here is a whole bunch of wires right here that connects to the thing. The RS-232 cable right here to ethernet cable see ethernet plug rs232 uh, this one that you can have to have a hub if you want to monitor both of these simultaneously how much power they produce or what they're doing okay by doing that it doesn't come with that you have to buy that hub it's just like like when you have a, a, mo a router so you can able to plug instead of using these guys here you use this guy to even update, use this to update your firmware or whatever. And these guys are all gonna be utilized uh, simultaneously. Stay tuned for that and uh, 
like this video and share it all right back guys uh we are here so we gotta take this guy off and make sure we unplug this one little guy out the other big guy out as well and we can go from there sometimes it's kind of hard to remove this stuff so what i'm gonna do here just take this screw okay screw is out and screw is out well these guys out take these guys out see the wires a power wire right here red wire take this one out and uh get this other one out as well so now we took the uh original board that came with it there's a wire that came so this part a white wire and a big one here so let's go about it and try to install the first card which is here remember this one doesn't have this one doesn't have let me give a comparison here this is the original one okay this is the one that came with the board the onboard card and the, the the next one is here remember this one has uh it says uh remote right here at the bottom focus yeah down here so it has a plug here plug here and a plug here we only have three wires okay right there all right guys i already took the board out you guys can see down here is a dummy card right here that's which a plate is down here that's where the other uh card which is the new one this one is gonna be installed this is the one that is already there at first that one we're still gonna keep that and we're gonna take that white one the dummy one underneath you can see there is a, a wire underneath and a big wire down here just like a computer uh cable for like a old hard drive communication cable so let's go ahead and do it i'll show you stand by okay i'm taking the screw off right now Taking this other one out. After taking, after taking this board out, which is the dummy one and you see there are two screws underneath there all the way straight here sorry all the way all the way down here see that that one that is one back there so let me take them out so that I can able to remove this cover right here. That's where the other one's gonna stick out. Now you can able to see that plate is already off. You can able this plate was covered with these those numbers or uh, uh, openings or outlets were covered, and now you can see it's a parallel. See that? So I took that plate off, and now we are about to go into business here with this uh, device so what i'm gonna do the dummy one is already out and um this is the one the dummy one so what i'm gonna do i have to install this one to the bottom here so this is how it works it's kind of tight to do all this stuff here but uh, trust me, you just have to do it. 
So I try to keep the wires really uh, separate. So this is the board. So like a fake board they just put there, a dummy one. And I'm gonna make sure I plug this one here. Okay, it's already plugged in right here. And there's a, a big one here has to be plugged, which is, let me show you right there. See, it comes right here, this big one. All right, the board is already in right here. So I'm going to slide it to where it says the parallel connection. So now you look at it, it's already here. See now it says parallel. So I have to put back this other board um, that I took out, which is this one. It's going to be on the top here. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, I already um, put in the board and I'm just trying to um, screw this thing down make sure it's all aligned so and get this other one here so there's the finished product right there they already plugged in you can see the connection right there and there's another connection here this one goes for the top card i'm going to be installing stay tuned for that I don't want this video to be long, but I want to go step by step with you guys to see everything. Now I'm connecting the second card, which was there before. So plug this one in and make sure this other wire plugs right there. You can't miss it because they're all designed to um, fit in different ports. You cannot miss that at all. So this one right here, the red one. So we're just going to put it back the way it was. The only thing, the only reason why we disconnected this one so we can able to install the parallel board underneath. That's what it's supposed to be. So get this one all aligned properly. So we're going to use um, the screws. Never get rid of any of these screws because they're all important so they have to go back there that's just the fact so I have this one in and the other one move the camera a little bit and the other one here and now we have a complete we have a complete cards now. So let me bring back you let me bring you down here and see exactly what I meant. So now all the cards are already there. Remember this dummy one we took this one out. This is where the parallel board is going to fit. So they put all this stuff. I don't know if they just bridge it for something so that I can be working or something for standalone. So this is the complete install on how you can install a parallel boards to your PEEP 5048MG hybrid inverter charger. So let me show you the rest of the video when I'm done with the other one, but it's, the process is still going to be the same just like this. So I don't want to make the video too long. I'll just show you the end, the finished product here. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe, and share. So these are the components we took that you're going to be having a remaining part. Don't throw them away. You might probably utilize them in the future. Who knows? Unless you decide to take not to use the parallel thing anymore, then you can back. You can stick this one back in there. So this is the case where it came from. And I'm going to just take this dummy card and stick it back inside here and save it for future purpose or future reference, whatever is suitable. Put this one back and store it. Put these plates back in here and store it like that. Okay? Well, this is the second peep. This is how it looks like. The plate is covered here. 
I have to take this board out, remove these two screws here and go down, take this card out, disconnect this, these two plugs here with another plug right in the corner, the red one. Take this one out, set it, as, set it aside and go to the bottom card where you can find these two, um, a screw down here that holds the dummy card right here the default one and there is another one right on the corner underneath there I hope you can see it right there so take that card out and remove that screw then this plate's gonna pop fall off and that's how you're gonna be seeing the parallel connection connection Take that on the side and there it is again I want to show you if you missed the first one you can see it after rewind I'm gonna take this one out okay take this one out and take this other one out. Yeah, out. So, doing so, we have to get the, the card out. Sorry for the shake. This is the card. See the card right here. That's the card and those are the connectors these are for the top card and those two the big one the black one and this white one is for the second card okay and doing so you can see two screws underneath there these are the ones I'm gonna show you I hope I'm not gonna wanna use make this video too long but um, for training purpose or learning purpose, I would say, bear with me. All right. Ready to take this guy out? Those are going to be the spear. They're going to be a spear ones now because the next board next board don't need that anymore so you see the plate just fall off there right the opening right there for the parallel connector or connection or inputs so this plate is done so now you can see where the other card is gonna fit stay tuned for the rest of the video like subscribe and share as I mentioned you guys can see the the plates right here so that spot is not going to be ever utilized anymore that's the that will be right there so there is no screws going to get into this place at all here so the card is only designed for two terminal which going to be this ones here these high points right here okay it's already have like a, a step or a block or whatever it's set up for so i have the card fit properly um to uh, on the final destination where it should be okay so this is what i'm going to be doing right now putting back the two bolt or the two screws here right here and right there the card is already inserted in here so I'm going to put the second card. Now you can see there is a parallel, parallel connection here. This is the card I just installed right here. So the, the original one will come back up here. 
So here is the final touch right here is the one thing is the power cable. Make sure there's a notch, you know, right here. So make sure it's uh, perpendicular to the plug. So we're going to go back and make sure we insert it the correct way and it will work properly. There you go. He had, you heard that snap? It's already in. So everything, double check, triple check, quarter chop, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, so everything is in. This is how you install parallel boards for your PIP 40, no, 40, uh, sorry, PIP 50, 48 inverter chargers. Live here at Minnesota with the JW Solar USA. This completes our installation. I hope this one helps someone. And always find my videos really helpful. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe them. And subscribe to the channel. Pass it on. This one will help somebody. This is a one old um, invention or one old installation or one old creativity, whatever. You know, then make use of this uh, video because it's very productive and uh, go step by step how to go about this. And I wish you guys all the best. Subscribe, like and share to the to the channel and JW Solar USA Paraboard connected to uh, PIP 5048 MG hybrid inverter chargers. Bye for now.